fucking go. Let's go. Another video. Let's go. Let's not take this for granted. When you step it up every single day, you're doing it consistently. Don't take these blessings for granted. Appreciate them. Gratitude is the most fucking phenomenal thing you can do for yourself and for everyone else. Incorporate gratitude into your life now. Literally, write shit down that you're grateful for. It can be from the smallest to biggest. I'm so grateful. I'm alive. I'm so grateful. I have eyesight. I'm so grateful. I have a voice that is inspiring and motivating and fucking ready to blast. Everyone, today, we're going to talk about this book right here. The Go-Givers Sell More. So, a little story real quick. I won't make it too long. I was in sales. Car sales, specifically. And, you know, I invested money in all this. I got into the uh, sales industry. Car automotive, it's out of sort of... Automotive sales industry. It went well. Sell, sold a couple cars and all that, you know, I invested like what, like I'd say $3,000, somewhere around there. So yeah, you know, I did, I did, um, go all out. I'd say like an eight out of 10. I did it for like six months, somewhere around there. And the thing is, I didn't really sell that much cars, but, but at the end was, I found out that it wasn't really for me. There was something that took me somewhere else. There was this guy that told me he wanted me for a different position. So yes, I'm at a different position right now in the automotive industry. It's not the best position I'd say with the best fucking paying position, you know? I'm getting paid by wage. Like, like an average, you know? Eventually, I'm gonna be fucking working for myself. That's where you should fucking aim. That's where you should fucking strive to be at. To be letting money to work for you. Not working for the money. That's wagey. That's brokey. You know? I'm, I'm, I'm fucking saying the truth. If you always work for money, if you always are going to work for the money, bruh, the fact that they're printing money and shit, the government is fucking printing out, printing out money. It is a fucking system that's literally trying to keep you in a fucking average state, keep you away from the truth. So you better wake the fuck up. I'm waking the fuck up. It's going to be fucking hard. Building a business is hard. Going to the fucking gym twice a fucking day is hard. Waking up in the fucking morning, as soon as your eyes open, is fucking hard. You got to fucking embrace the struggle. Don't be a fucking average. Average don't go fucking anywhere. Don't make fucking excuses, dude. Your time is fucking valuable. Right now, I'm not where I want to be in life. But I just feel as if I already have everything. You got to live in peace. Desire is good. That's the main factor to, to go towards success. But the fact is, desire is a, it's a state. It's kind of like a low frequency state because you're desiring something. It's not that you don't have it still. You know? That's why it's fucking just let yourself... Put yourself in a position where you already have everything. Be a go-giver. Just go ahead and do everything. Go, go and give the most value to everyone. Show love. Don't sell your fucking will to win. Some of you guys are fucking selling your will to win. What I mean is that you're just fucking... Literally. You don't, you don't want to win, bro. So you just fucking sell it. You sell your will. You just sell it because you don't think you can fucking level up. Bruh, that's bullshit. Right here, let me tell you, bruh. Bam. Bam. So if you're in sales right now, well, congratulations. That's that's a great that's a great occupation, you know? 
say great job just over broke job means just over broke you see how the system fucking connects i'm letting you know bro it's it's okay yeah it's okay to have a job but never settle always do your fucking best in that job and you'll eventually come bam you'll eventually fucking step it up to a level where you have so much money if you're smart with your money if you're a fucking like i have one of my homies his name is anthony fucking beast he literally sells tons of cars a month making thousands of dollars a month and i hope to god that he saves his money and shit he was the last time he told me yeah i don't want to just explain talk about this too much but he told me you know he helps his family which is amazing that's what you should be doing be a fucking goal giver Literally, let me tell you, bruh. Damn. What I love about this book is that it's not really about like selling your product. It's more about like giving as much as possible. Go going above above and beyond. Doing more than what is expected. Bro, this book is amazing. Look, sales, as we mentioned earlier, is much like farming. You prepare the soil with care. You choose and plant the right seeds. You stay faithful in your watering, weeding, and cultivation. And God and nature do the rest. But you have to plant and cultivate. Plant and cultivate. How are you planting and cultivating? Literally. I mean, what, what are you cultivating? What are you planting, bro? Are you planting fucking negative thoughts? That's, what, that's what's going to grow fucking weeds. That's... Dude, your, your mind is a garden. How are you taking care of it? Bruh. Literally, bruh. How are you fucking taking care of it? Plant, trust, and harvest. Bam. That's the ending of this book. That's how it ends. That's how fucking beautiful this book is. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. <laughs> So yeah, and you're you're in sales. Read this book. I highly recommend it. Go give or sell more. This book will change your fucking life, literally. If you're not in sales, well, and you're still thinking about building a business, bro, you gotta fucking study sales. Sales is the highest paid profession out there. It's a fucking skill that is mandatory when building a business, as well as marketing, dude. You, you as a man, don't just go in the fucking gym, be a meathead. I don't give a fuck what you say about me. You might say, I'm okay, you fucking meathead, man. All you do is fucking work out, dude. Nah, bro, you don't know who the fuck I am. And all I care, all I care is who I am, who I think I am, who I believe I can. I don't got that. That, that too. Who I believe I fucking am. That's all that matters. And that should matter. That should that should be the only fucking thing that matters to you. Who you are. And who you're becoming. Not who the fuck people think you are. Not what they tell you who they think you are. Bruh. Whatever they whatever good or bad they say, don't listen, don't listen to it. Even if they say you're dude, you're fucking amazing. Everything you touch turns into gold. Bruh. Say thank you, but don't fucking. Don't take it as something like good or bad. Just, just accept it. But at, at the end of the day, you're your own fucking choice, bro. You make up your fucking mentality. Literally. You choose your fucking, your state of mind. You choose who you want to fucking become. Period, dude. Hold on. Let me, let me show you real quick. It says right here, look. Do not believe the bad stuff and certainly do not believe the good stuff that people tell you, okay? Draw your own conclusions about yourself. Listen to your own counsel. Nobody knows you better than you, period. Nobody knows you better than fucking you. Listen to your fucking self, literally. If you don't know what the fuck you're doing, the thing that you should be doing is go on, on walks. Do journal. Meditate, please. You gotta incorporate spiritual a spirituality in your life. There's a wheel with many sections that you have to balance out. 
And this one right here, spir spirituality, is one that is key to performing at a high level, to performing, to performing super well. Because if you don't incorporate this in your routine, like meditation, stretching, or just journaling, something that's connecting with your spirit, bro, you're literally fucking missing out. You're literally not tapping into your full potential. Because when you're like meditating or anything like that, you're letting your subconscious mind run. And your subconscious mind is the one that it's mainly running at all time. Literally, at all fucking times. So, that's why I'm saying meditate, journal, because that's where you'll, your subcon subconscious mind will actually tap in. Like, you'll literally listen to it. it it'll be super clear, you know? It's amazing how our brains fucking work. And you're the one that controls it. I know this video is kind of like a little mixed up with many things, but just want to let you know. I was talking about like the, the sell more. I just thought about that book because give more. The more you give, the more you're going to receive. Bro, if you have something powerful within you like I do, and you do too, give it just give it your all work on yourself don't be fucking selfish dude if you don't work on yourself you're a fucking selfish motherfucker dude you're not looking to improve when you don't imp when you when you fucking don't improve you don't you can't help other people bro because you're literally in a mode of apathy you're in a mode of anger you're in a mode of fucking self selfishness not selflessness that's the opposite, which is great. Selflessness, you should be that motherfucker. Be selfless. Like I told you, already feel as already you asked though, you already have everything. Period. Live life full. You're gonna die fucking empty, naked. Just like you came into this world naked, you will die naked. So just give it your all, right? Might as well just spend your time doing something worth it, like sales, study sales, read something like personal development books, not fucking fiction shit. That's not going to fucking help you at all. If you ever have a friend or any shit like that, dude, they oh, yeah, read fiction, dude. Oh, my God, dude. That's fucking amazing, dude. Oh, my God. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. I literally sock you right in the throat, bruh. Read personal development. Watch personal development videos. Invest in yourself. Invest, invest in courses. If you fucking suck at communication skills, invest in courses that'll help you out. Invest in your skills. Become a fucking better man. A high status man. A fucking high value man. Whatever you want to call it, bruh. Alright? Just have the fucking skills. In life, dude, the more skills you have, eventually the money will come to you. Don't chase the money. God wants you to feel content. He wants you to feel as though you already have everything. That's the secret when you pray to him. Feel as if you already have everything. Ask, ask and you shall receive. When you're praying, this is a secret. Thank him for all that he's done. Thank, thank him for all the dreams that have come true already. Thank him for everything. Put him first and he will serve you. Give you everything. He will be your refuge. He'll be your, he will be your, uh, your shield. Bam. The more you know God, the more he's going to love you. Now, I mean, he already loves you more than you can fucking ever imagine. The more, you're gonna, the more you know him, the more you're going to be like him. We're all gods. God is the mind. Mental. The universe is mental. There's loss in this universe. So connect yourself with your mind, body, spirit, and heart. Be grateful. I love y'all. I'm going to end, end this video like this. Like I've said before. If you're not fucking growing yourself, either building a skill, just like studying a skill, building your skill. Yeah, yeah, building your fucking skills. 
reading personal development, dude. Incorporating gratitude into your routine. It's spirituality, meditation, relax your mind. So that way you can tap into the depths of who you truly are. Because in reality, you're not your thoughts. You're not nothing. In this world, you're nothing except consciousness, godly energy. So wake the fuck up. I love y'all. Let's fucking grow. Make sure you fucking always level up and always know to challenge yourself. That's how you fucking grow. Let's fucking go. Wake the fuck up.